In this video, I'm going to talk about how to identify the transversal and classify each angle pair. This goes along with uh, your transversals and, uh, and, the, and the angle pairs that are formed when you have different transversals. Okay, just a couple of examples of each one of these. Okay, so we're going to talk about transversals, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, corresponding angles, and same side interior angles. Okay, so we're going to talk about all those different ones. Uh, if you don't know what those are, you might want to watch a previous video of mine that talks about all those vocabulary words. Okay, so uh, number one, we're going to look at angle one and angle three. Okay, we're going to look at those ones and try to identify the transversal and classify each angle pair. Okay, so if I look at angle one right here, angle three right here, the first thing I want to do is I want to, I want to identify the transversal. Now, in this case, the transversal is a line that intersects two other lines. That's what a transversal is. Now. In this case, when we're identifying it, what might help is that a transversal helps to create the two individual angles. So notice angle 1 is helped made by L. Notice angle 3 is helped made by L. So L is going to be my transversal. Helps make 1, and it helps to make 3. So that's going to be my transversal. Transversal, using my abbreviation, is L. Okay, so that's the first part, identifying the transversal, and now classify each angle pair. So I'm going to classify it as alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding, or same side interior angle pairs. Okay, so now as I look at it, notice that angle one, the first thing I notice, angle one, angle three, here's the transversal. Both of them are down. Both of them are down from the transversal. So I would say that they are on the same side of the transversal. So what that does is that kind of knocks out. They can't be alternate interior, can't be alternate exterior. So it's either going to be corresponding or it's going to be same side interior angles. Okay. So now the obvious choice might be, oh, well, they're on the same side of the transversal. It's going to be same side interior. Well, not necessarily. Three is on the inside. If you look at this, three is on the inside. Here's the transversal. Three is on the inside. Angle two is on the inside, but angle one is on the outside. Angle one's out here. Okay, when you're just looking at these lines, M and N, 3 and 2 are in between there, right? So they're the inside ones. 1 is on the outside. So they're not same side interior. We're talking about 3 and 1. Remember, we're talking about 3 and 1. They're not same side interior, so the only thing that we have left is corresponding angles. Okay, well, now look at corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are in the same position. 1 is down and to the left. 3 is down and to the left. They're in the same position. It doesn't quite look like it with a little bit different angle for these lines here, but they are, in fact, in the same position. So these are, in fact, corresponding, corresponding angles. Notice the notation here. Notice the notation. Notice the abbreviations that I used here. C-O-R-R, -R, period. That's corresponding angles. Box V S. That's corresponding angles. Okay. So a lot of abbreviating I'm going to do here. Okay. So next up on the list is angles 2 and 6. 2 and 6. So notice 2 is right here, and 6 is here. So we want to identify the transversal, which is the line that helps to create 2 and 6. Notice N right here helps to create 2 and 6. So my transversal, so my transversal is line, what was it again? N. Line N. Okay? So now I want to identify is it corresponding? Alternate interior, alternate exterior, or same side interior angles. Okay, so we're looking at two and six. Two and six, well, the first thing I notice is that I have to cross over, cross over the transversal to get to from, from angle to angle. So that tells me it's either going to be alternate interior or alternate exterior angles. Okay, we'll also notice that this line L and this line M help to create two and six. And 2 and 6 are in between right here. 2 and 6 are in between these two. So that's this right here is the interior. This is the inside. So that tells me 2, 6, opposite sides of the transversal, and they're on the interior. These ones are going to be alternate, alternate, interior angles. Alternate, interior angles angles. Notice the abbreviations that I've used. These abbreviations save a lot of time, a lot of effort when writing everything out. Okay? Alternate interior angles. Alright, next. Next up. Angles four and six. Angles four and six. So let's go over here. We're using six again. We're using six again. But then we're going all the way up here to four. All the way up here to four. So notice M right here is going to be my transversal. Helps make six and helps make four. 
Okay, so my transversal, transversal is line M. And then now it's either going to be alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding, or same side interior. So let's take a look. Well, notice that 6, and then to get all the way to 4, I have to cross over the transversal. So go from 4 back to 6, I have to cross over the transversal. So that tells me oh, right away it's going to be an alternating. Okay. Now, I only have two alternating ones. It's either alternate interior or alternate exterior. So are these angles inside or are they outside? Notice that 4, okay, 4 is here, 6 is here. These angles are on the outside. Notice line L and line N. Put 5 and 3 on the inside, but in fact 6 and 4, which is the ones that we're talking about over here, angle 6 and angle 4, they're on the outside of this of these uh, um, intersections. Okay, so this is actually going to be an example of alternate exterior, alternate exterior angles. All right. Notice the abbreviations, alternate exterior angles, alternate exteriors. Okay, you want to also understand not only what the what the vocabulary is, but also what the abbreviations for the vocabulary is. Can get kind of confusing sometimes. All right. Last, lastly, two and three angles, two and three. So let's get this done quickly. Angle two is right here. Angle three is right here. My transversal to help create both of them is L. So my transversal, trans, get that in there, transversal is line L. And then what are they? Now, notice that they're on the same side of the, of the uh, transversal, lost the word, same side as, as the transversal, and they're on the inside of the intersections. They're both on the inside. So this would be same side interior angles. Same side interior angles. Okay, notice the abbreviation. SS stands for same side. All right, those are all, that's all we're supposed to do. Identify the transversal and classify each angle pair. Identify the transversal and classify each angle pair. So the classification that we have are corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, and same side interior angles. Those are the four that we have for right now. All right, um, and that was it. That was it. Now, hopefully, you understand the the notation, like with the angles here, and the abbreviations with all these. So, because sometimes when you learn vocabulary, it's a little bit difficult to understand it with all the notation and with all the abbreviations. So, hopefully, hopefully, you understood all that.